Hi folks, it's Stefan from Polygen here. Just got in from uh, about an hour of exercise out in freezing cold. And we're going to do the uh, ultimate Polygene test. We're going to test Polygene, the uh, original product, and our new product, Polygene Odor Crunch. Uh, I've literally just got in, I see I'm still dressed. Uh, I've got here a couple of other things to show you. Um, first of all, um, stopwatch, which you'll see why we're going to use that in a minute. Um, these are Odor Crunch pads, which we're going to test out. Um, these are my um, Innovate X Talons uh, fell running shoes. I've washed them because they were absolutely disgusting. Uh, did a, a six hour run in the Peak District at the weekend and uh, got covered in peat bog, cow shit, all sorts of stuff. And uh, they were really manky. So they still smell pretty bad. Uh, so we're going to test the odour crunch on those. And also going to test um, some of the kit I've been wearing. So I'll just put this camera on here um, for now. Uh, so starting down at the bottom, um, we've had, uh, this is what I've just been running in. Uh, these trainers have done about 1,500 miles, uh, pretty worn to death, soles pretty worn out, and ooh, that's about as close as I dare get because they are absolutely, these are absolutely humming. So I'll put those on there and take the other one off as well. <coughs> God. Mrs. will kill me if she sees I'm putting stuff on the kitchen table. Hope she doesn't watch this video. Um, next off, we've got um, uh, some Polygene socks. Uh, these are the Hilly Marathon Fresh socks. They are um, super comfortable. They're pretty soaking wet now with sweat. I can smell them. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Um, saying they've been stuffed inside there. Pretty impressed. The next thing I've got on... Um, can't smell these, it's two sizey leggings, but no problems at all from the Montaigne top and the Innovate top and this backpack. Let's try it out. Let's see how do it. The um, body hugging, so it gets pretty sweaty, but this absolutely no smell whatsoever. Uh, that's good. Last but by no means least, oh, I can hear again my buff. Again, this is soaked with sweat, it's been used a lot, hasn't been washed, no smell whatsoever. That's good for another day. Right, here's the main test. These are just normal fabric pads treated with odour crunch. And we're going to see um, how well they work. I'm going to start the stopwatch. All I'm going to do is put one pad inside this really stinky trainer. Just stuff it in, spread it out, and let it get to work. So this trainer, that's pretty mini. This trainer, I really can't, honestly can't, smell any odour at all. It's not good, it's not bad, there's just no odour. That's 40 seconds in, it's instant. So I'd imagine if this was treated with odour crunch, this trainer wouldn't smell. Right, let's go on uh, to these trainers. These smell of um, sweat, but they also smell of... Oops, not a watch. They also... Oh, I did, that didn't start. These trainers smell of sweat, but they also smell of peat bogs. If you're not from the UK and haven't experienced a peat bog, uh, basically it's rotting vegetables, uh, vegetation, sorry. And um, it's just the most disgusting thing um, on earth, especially as it dries and festers. So shove that in, straight in with the smell test. I didn't even give it a second there to start working. I just shoved in. <sighs> Absolutely fine. There's no smell whatsoever. It's almost instantaneous the way it starts working. Um, this is just my simplistic test. The next test we're going to do is uh, one of the smelliest places in my house uh, is this uh, recycling bin contraption that, that we seem to have. Um, I think most houses have them now. Um, but the problem with recycling is it's really, really smelly. Uh, so this is plastics, this bit's not too offensive, just got um, peanut 
course, like cashew nut wrappers, that sort of thing. I forgot in there. Mango, pineapple, papaya, all very healthy stuff. That's the way we roll here. Um, well, the problem comes in this black bin area here and uh, we'll just take a few things out this is absolutely disgusting smell two smoked haddock fillets wrapper cod fillets fish what else we got in there uh old milk cartons there's, there's old uh rotting food in there there's jars what's that what was in there bacon probably uh if we dig a bit deeper oh yeah that's uh Oh, there's a load of rotting food in there, and it's absolutely disgusting. I really can't tell you how bad this bin smells. I hate it. We've also, obviously, just to make things even worse, we've got the uh, vegetable composter. Now, if we look in here, these are absolutely disgusting. So, what we've got in there is basically save all our fruit and vegetables and put it on the compost but in the meantime you've got eggs, rotten bananas, bits of cabbage, tea bags and the whole thing really smells. So what we're going to do is close that for a second. I'm going to grab polygene pad. I think this is going to need two pads because it's a pretty extreme test. And what we're going to do is open the drawer, get a really strong waft of odour. What I'm going to do is I'm going to slide one pad on there and one pad on here and close the drawer and then we're going to start the stopwatch now while that's running a little bit of inspiration for me in the day a bit of mo farah right let's see how long should we give it 30 seconds or should we be really harsh and go for the um immediate test like the um trailers um let's um Let's give it 30 seconds, that doesn't seem like a bad test to me. Okay, 27, 28, 29. Let's go in with the sniff. Oh my God. So, getting... I honestly, here, cannot smell anything. It smells completely fresh. Now, if I go in deep, Yes, I can smell the odour, because the odour source is still there. But at this height, where the, you'd expect the odour to waft up and hit you in the face, absolutely nothing. So that's after 30 seconds of use. So, uh, fantastic. Well done, Polygene. Good work.